What up, man? It's your boy Pudgy the Prophet, you know what I'm saying? Just dope ass nigga, you feel me? I'm about to give, give y'all a little output of this straight drop the grid, you know. My nigga can't interview me, you know what I'm saying? So just stay in tune, you know what I mean? And shit, we rocking. Squad! Where did you get this stuff? Columbia. I can't feel my face. I mean, I can touch it. I can't feel it inside. Now all right. the nigga know is hand. Let me start off with SBA. I'm a motherfucking nigga. That's basic fam, man. Uh, free my nigga gut off top that day one. That's my right hand. My nigga Evan. You know my nigga Savage, my nigga Tavion, my nigga Tim, free my nigga Tim. Cortel, free my nigga Tig, you feel me? Man, I I've been going on that. My Uncle Boo. No run. That's really it, man. I mean, I, I don't know. I ain't really fucking too many niggas. My circle been closed for years, man. What's your outlook on life right now? Like, I, right now, you know what I mean? Looking from your eyes, nigga. What, what's your perspective on life? Like, how you see it? Shit, I see it. I take life for what it is, you know what I'm saying? I don't really plan nothing now, but at the same time, like, I'm living for my son, you know what I'm saying? I look at my son, and that's more motivation for me to keep going, you know what I mean? But mainly what's more important is my family, his music, and his money. Dig it, dig it. You know Everything else will fall into place. You know, as long as I keep working, as long as I stay motivated, shit, I'm gonna get where I'm getting, where I'm trying to go. In your mind, like how how long you think you're gonna be on this grind before you think like you you and the squad will be able to make something happen? Is that even a question, man? Nah. <laughs> this year. Uh, we taking out this year. I swear to God, I caught that shit back in December. We taking out this year. You got some dope shit. That's all I can mean. That's why it's called State Drop the Grip. I'm not rapping for nobody. I'm doing this shit for me, you know what I mean? So if I'm not going to get signed off of how I sound and what I'm rapping about, then so I sign myself in the street. That's just how I feel about it, because I'm not going switch my ways up and if I'm not comfortable with it and shit, I'm going to feel like it's true trash to so I'm going to stay true to myself, man. I rap about what I've been through and what I'm doing now, present today, you feel what I'm saying? And yeah, of course, a lot of this trap music, shit, a lot of us valley music, I ain't mean, this shit, that's what niggas going through and that's what real niggas relate to. I mean, the struggle don't make you real, but... You keep it real example, if nobody has never listened to one of your songs, none of your songs, any of your music or anything, and they just seen this interview and they want to check you out, which songs would you tell them to go check out as of right now? Keep it lit. And let it burn, you know, I speak some real shit on that motherfucker, man. That's one of my best tracks, man. Yeah, I'm all over YouTube, man. Put you profit, you know. There. You know, I got, I got a mixtape I dropped a couple months ago. I dropped it December 15th, Black Christmas. That's on Jack Hill. You know, check me out. Um, definitely doing some numbers on that too. Um, man, you got a buzz going on that verse you dropped on that Fort Wayne Threats with it. With everybody, man. Uh, yeah. What inspired it? Tell, 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 tell us about your writing process on that track. Man. Like what you was feeling, what was what, where you was at, what you was doing when you wrote that verse. Honestly, when I heard that beat, and I knew, on, I, I knew who I was getting on that track. Man, I was like, damn. My, my only thoughts was, I got a clown on this motherfucker. That was my only, I'm like, I got a, I got a clown on this motherfucker, man. This right here going to yeah. open motherfucker eyes. And especially it was a crazy collab. You know, we had, we had my nigga Butter out there. We had my nigga Rod, Poopy Weaver, and my nigga Script from So Dope. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah. It's, it's, it's where the competition is. So I... I Man, I, I just went in, man. How long it take you to write it? It took me about about 15 minutes. Really? Yeah, about 15 minutes. The most high respect goes to my mom, man, my OG, because she, she, she showed me how to grip, man. She was a single parent with five kids, man. So when I look at that, back then I didn't think much of it, but now I'm grown and I'm a dope with my kids myself, man. I look at it, it was, it was a struggle, man. It was hard. She did that. 
And that was, that's my motivation too, man, because my mom something had not to depend on nobody, man. And shit, we, we, we living it up. Shout out you to Bob's. I mean? we, we ain't doing bad. We, ain't, we, 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 we all right. You know, that's a blessing from God, man. But just shit, just live life. That's my most important message. That's, that's what it is. Live life. Dig it. Man, you know, be on the lookout for that straight drop to grip. Basically, man, just be on the lookout for the mixtape. You know, I ain't gonna never stop. You know what I'm saying? Much love. You support me. I love you. You know what I mean? And